Have you ever wondered how Batman's cowl can adjust his voice? Well, we're gonna find out. You sound just like Batman. I know! So cool. <laughs> right? Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Josh. And I'm Caleb. We've also got with us today the Bat Computer, Penny One. Greetings. And welcome to Batman Science Lab, where we test the science behind Batman's cool crime fighting technology. We've been learning all about his tech. As members of the Night Watch, Penny One's new program where people like you and me from all over the world get to practice honing our own skills to be everyday heroes. That's right, and we both love Batman. Mm -hmm. And so today, we're gonna look at the science behind Batman's iconic cow, and more specifically, how he's able to make his voice unrecognizable. Penny One, can you pull up Batman's cowl to show what we're talking about? The cowl has a microphone and voice modulator that alter the pitch and volume of Batman's voice to protect his identity. I mean, it's a pretty good way for Batman to keep his identity a secret. Oh yeah. So now, Caleb, do you have an idea of how Batman is able to change his voice? I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. It's actually by using sound waves. Now, sound waves are just that. It's waves of energy that flow through the air caused by vibrations. So for example, right now, my voice is making vibrations traveling through the air and to your ears, which interpret it as sound. Whoa, that is awesome. Isn't it? There's also a thing called frequency. That's the speed of how fast or slow the vibrations are moving. Mm -hmm. So usually, a vibration wave moves just like this, right? We're rocking, we're rolling. If the vibration were to pick up speed and the waves got taller and more frequent, that means that vibration has a high frequency. Let's say we're moving a little slower the waves are gonna get shorter, more space between. So the vibration is a little slower. That means we have a low frequency. We also use the word pitch to describe it as well. So Caleb, let's do a review real quick. Can you give me a sound of low frequency or low pitch? Oh, Amazing. Now, can you give me a sound of high frequency or high pitch? Like this? Very nice. Now how about we try to see some sound waves? Sort of. How? I thought they were invisible. We're gonna need some milk. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is a subwoofer speaker, and this thing is gonna produce a lot of sound waves, all right? And remember, the stronger the vibration, the louder the sound! <laughs> the most important thing to remember is safety and the protection of our ears. So what we're gonna be using is professional ear protection equipment while this experiment goes on. As you can see, I have a bowl also located on top of the speaker. And I have this really cool blue Batman milk that we're gonna use. Oh, so that's where the milk comes in. Exactly, okay, here we go. Glug, 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 glug. Look at all this beautiful blue milk. Let's get our ear protection on. All right. Everybody else, everybody else got the ear protection on? Nice and set. All righty, let's work some magic, buddy. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Bing. Oh, man! Whoa. Look at that! Look at all the droplets kind of <laughs> forming right now. Man, that Spiky is milk. awesome! Yeah. Are you seeing the circles as they kind of go around? Yeah. That's so cool. Hey, they're starting to form a pattern. I mean, who knew milk could dance like this? This is pretty <laughs> great. Sound waves are awesome. So cool. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. All right, you know what? I think the milk's had enough. Let's yep. go ahead and cut it. Woo! Ooh. All right. So what'd you think, Caleb? When you would change the frequencies, the patterns would change. Exactly. So we were able to see kind of exactly how the vibrations of the sound waves mm -hmm. changed throughout. Remember, the low frequency was slow, higher ones caused more rapid shaking. So now, let's play with the frequency of our own voices, huh? Oh, yeah! Let's give it a shot. All right, so we know that Batman lowers the pitch of his voice to sound more intimidating to the bad guys because, yeah. let's be honest, a low, deep voice sounds scarier than some high-pitched, funny voice. <laughs> yeah! All right, so Caleb, how do you think he does that? Well, he'd have to change the frequency or pitch of his sound waves to be lower. Exactly, you nailed it. Yes! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment with that by using our own voices to see how it really works. Okay, so this computer here is connected to the microphone. We're gonna core that. And my mixer here is gonna change the pitch of the sound by speeding up or slowing down the vibrations of our own voices, okay? So we're gonna see how that plays out. Are you ready, Caleb? A good superhero is always up for trying new things. That is the attitude to have, right. my dear friend. You got your phrase you're gonna say? Yep. Three, two, go. This is Batman's Science Lab. 
Ooh, sounded so official when you said it. All right, do you mind hitting up these knobs yeah. for me? Let's turn it up turn a up little bit. Turn up the volume. Bit. Nice, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the pitch up really high. And? Playback. This is Batman's sign flag. This is Batman's sign flag. That's pretty close. <laughs> you could have done that all on your yeah. own. That was fantastic. You sound like a nice little mouse. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do it again, but this time I want you to say something else completely different, okay? Okay. Ready, <laughs> set, Welcome to the Night Watch. Ooh, <laughs> so official, I got chills. Right. Okay, Push turn that back up. up. We're gonna turn the pitch all the way down. Let's see how that sounds. Playback. Welcome to the Night Watch. Whoa, <laughs> I sound like Batman. Honestly, you sound it's just like, like Batman. Welcome to the Night Watch. That was amazing, buddy. Yeah, so the voice modulator in Batman's cowl must work the same way. It changes his voice slightly when he talks to make it a lower pitch. It increases the strength of the vibrations, making himself louder when he wants to. Exactly, you see, Batman took it a step further than our software, because he was able to do it in real time. I mean, that's just because his tech is way more advanced than ours. I think it's cool how different types of sounds make people feel differently. Like how deep sounds can be scary and intimidating, and how high sounds can be funny. And Batman figures that out and uses it to his advantage. Can we do some more voices? Oh yeah, I'm so right. game. Your turn. Okay. So three, two, one, go. Your day has come, Calendar Man. Oh! <laughs> All right. That is classic. I felt good. I All felt right. good. It felt good. Turn up the volume okay. and higher low. Let's go low. Let's All go right. low. Let's get the official Batman right. sound. And play. Your day has come, Calendar Man. <laughs> <laughs> you see just like Batman! Oh my gosh, that felt so good. good. That felt so good to hear. Your has come, Calendar Man. Oh, you did oh, it better right. than me, all right. <laughs> now sound is super cool. It can really change how we perceive things around us. I think it just makes it that much more interesting how we all are made with our own unique voices. I think I should use my Batman voice more often. You know what? That's a great idea. Hope you learned something here on Batman Science Lab. And for more awesome Batman content, stay here on the DC Kids channel. Tactical visor activated. Tactical, Tactical visor? visor? Whoa. Whoa, that sounds awesome. So cool. Whoa.